Hi everybody, my name is Rebecca McLean and I'm an environmental engineer. As an engineer, maths is a very important part of my job. It's something that I'm interested in and it's always been something that I've enjoyed. Today, I'm gonna to spend a little bit of time talking a little bit about shapes and about angles and about how different shapes fit together and how different angles are related to each other. And hopefully at the end of it, we'll have a better idea about shapes, angles, and about how they are important in everyday life and how they're important in my job as an engineer. Okay, so I've got a little prop here. I'm gonna start by looking at one of the most simple polygons. A polygon is a shape that is formed from straight sides and that is closed, so it's a closed shape. Okay, so a square is one of the most simple examples of a polygon. A square has four sides of equal length. So this side is the same length as this side, it's the same length as this side and this side. And the other important part of a square is that it has four right angles okay so each corner is a right angle as you can see here i've marked on the right angle and that is an angle of 90 degrees okay so the square is made up four sides the same length with a right angle of 90 degrees in each corner okay so when we take our square then it can be broken down further into two identical triangles. If we look at this triangle in more detail then, we can see it's got two sides that are the same length, this side and this side. And then it's got one long side along the bottom here. So this is called an isosceles triangle. And that's because it's got two sides the same length. What's also interesting about triangles is that when we look at their internal angles, they always add up to 180 degrees. So in this case, because we have an isosceles triangle, we've got one, and we know that one angle is 90 degrees here, okay? So that is a right angle, as we had in the square. We do 180 minus 90, so we know that these two angles add up to make 90 degrees, and we know that these two angles are the same because it's an isosceles triangle, which means that these two angles are 45 degrees and 45 degrees. And when we take our isosceles triangle, we can break that down again into two mini isosceles triangles. And again, we know that these are isosceles because they've got two sides the same length, and they've got two angles the same. So again, we've got one right angle of 90 degrees and we've got two identical angles here and here of 45 degrees. So if we consider now the different types of shapes that we can create with the shapes that we now have, okay, so we've got our two mini isosceles. If we put them together like this, we get a square, okay, with our four sides the same length and four right angles. We've got our big isosceles and if we put these together you can see that that looks a bit like a house but that's a good example of your house would look a bit silly if it looked like this because your roof is too big and that's a good example of how we need to get angles correct to make things work properly. Okay so hopefully that's a, a very quick overview of angles and, and different shapes. And in my job as an engineer, these things are very important. Um, for example, we have to think about angles and we have to think about shapes when we're designing buildings to make sure that those buildings are able to stand up when we're designing bridges. And if you look at it, there are lots of different types of bridges. And within bridges, there's lots of different shapes and lots of different angles. And it's about how all of those angles work together and form the different shapes to make that bridge stand up. And also when we're designing water treatment, uh, water 
infrastructure because if you think about pipes, water can't flow uphill, it can only flow downhill. So we need to think about the direction and the angles of those pipes to make sure that when you turn on your tap, you get water coming out of it. So I'd encourage you all to think about shapes and to think about angles in your everyday life. Maybe you're having pizza for dinner and you're going to be cutting it up and thinking about the angles of the different bits of your pizza, the different slices and how they all fit together. Or maybe you're going out to practice your football and you can think about different passes and your angles of your passes and practicing your different angles that way. So I hope that's been useful. Thank you very much for your time.